This is the Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty walkthrough. Getting all the stars and completing all declassified challenges. And this is on the Halvo Bay Military Academy, Section 6, the crash site. This is the final section of the Halvo Bay Military Academy, or Act 2. And it's a, it's an, I don't know what else to call these cause kinds of missions where you can set up before them, so I'm just going to call them setup missions. And you get a, you have a minute and a half to set up b before the wave come, the first wave comes. And the, the declassified challenge for this mission is that Serapedes and Corpsers will be added to the attack. And to be honest, it's really not that much, it's, it's not incredibly difficult. You've already seen how to fight Serapedes in a previous mission. I think this is the first time you, you ever see Corpsers. The, the way corpses work is that they can dig underground and when they when you, they first show up uh, they'll just be walking on the ground trying to attack your barriers or you and they, uh, they have four arms that they can use to cover their face four armored arms so the key is to get behind them and shoot their uh, shoot them in the back or if their face is uncovered shoot them in the face and when you cause enough damage to them they'll dig back underground and then they will do like they'll dig through the ground and attack with what someone with one claw which is quite deadly you wanna watch where they're gonna go after they go underground and avoid it and then the second time they dig uh, they will come back up and you can attack them again but uh, they're not until the end of each wave, I think. For this first part of the wave, you just got a bunch of tickers running at you. You want to take them out quickly because they will explode as soon as they hit the barrier, which will cause lots of damage to it. And the Serapedes, they will actually... It seemed like they only wanted to attack the barrier. I probably could have just walked right up behind them and fired away at their tail, but I didn't. I found an angle I could shoot at them from behind the barrier. Oh, wait, there I go. I did walk up to it. Alright. Yeah, the Serapedes really don't add much difficulty to this mission. The Tickers, though, they will do massive damage to those barriers, and you cannot repair them. So you want to take them out quickly. Make sure you set up your turrets good. I probably could have set them up better. And there will also be, uh, I had Maulers come at me, I don't know if the, there's another type of enemy that will come at you, but, yeah, there are Maulers, I think in the second wave. And unfortunately, there aren't any weapons lying around, all you have is a Lancer and a Nasher. You might be able to find weapons off of some enemies, but... You know what? I think there, I think there might have been Theron guards, I, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure though. Yeah, this section isn't too tough. Uh, it might take you a few tries, but there are plenty of enemies, so you shouldn't have any problem getting three stars. And you shouldn't have any problem defending the uh, uh, the bot, whatever it's called. Just the only problems I had was getting killed. Even even though like, like all the barriers are gone, like yeah, I just had a lot of problems surviving in later on. But uh, yeah, once you once you defeat this first wave, you'll get you'll have thirty seconds to gather ammo or set anything back up. Yeah, those corpses. They're not as deadly as they were in Gears of War 3. I noticed that they don't they won't always go for me. They seem to always want to get me in Gears of War 3. In this game they they are more willing to go for your teammates or the barriers. There's got to be more coming below. Stay sharp, set up. 
So yeah, you have 30 more seconds to set up. So use it wisely. I really could not find a good place to keep those turrets, to be honest. So sorry, I, that's not that's not very helpful. But yeah, this mission's not too difficult, even with the Serapedes and Corpsers. I found the Maulers at the end of this wave to be the most difficult part. Oh, yep, yeah, Theron Guards. So yeah, there are other weapons you can pick up. There are Torque Bows, which I love using, by the way. But yeah. yeah, I got nothing else to really say for this mission. If you hadn't picked up that Moltra, this is a good spot to use it. You have a good eye view of the area. And I'm only concentrating on the left right now because there's still barriers on the right. Yeah, uh, those Theron guards with the Torque Bows, watch out for them. If you see them charging up their Torque Bows, you really want to stay behind cover. Because they are fucking accurate with those things. They will peg you even if you're sprinting or barrel rolling. You really gotta watch out for those. And kill those guys with the cleavers fast. They will push your shit in if you let them. Yeah, there's there's just a lot of stuff going on for the second and half of this uh, setup mission. No, actually, I'm gonna call them defense missions. That sounds better. This just goes to show how tough this, this second section can be. I'm backed into a corner. I probably it's probably just because I didn't do a good job of defending the barriers in the first wave. It also, oh, uh, another thing I should point out, uh, make sure those turrets are in a spot where you can reload them, but still in a useful spot where they can shoot. But again, I couldn't really find good spots for them. They just did not seem to help much at all. Oh, wow, I can't believe I survived that ink grenade. <laughs> those things almost always kill me in one... In w if I'm caught in the middle of an ink grenade explosion, then they usually kill me. Yeah, I got nothing else to say, so uh, just survive. <laughs> you got you shouldn't have any problem defending the robot, so just worry about defending yourself more.
flying guy. Someone's got to name this thing. And that was it. The grubs left us alone for a little while. It was hard leaving the academy. Someone has to go back there and bury those people. 